Todd, we all know that sometimes creating or working on social media or being an entrepreneur, you sometimes feel overwhelmed. And there's and lately there's a lot of talk about mental health. There's a lot of talk of men's mental health. Mm -hmm. So what can people do to kind of detox, if I may say, from social media? Because sometimes I feel that it's, I'm overwhelmed and I take kind of a break. But what can we do? Because we have to be constantly there if we are on a business or if we are an entrepreneur. So what can we do to take care of ourselves? You know, it's the answer is probably not what most people want to hear. Uh, but the, the answer for me is going to the gym. Obviously, you can see I'm like in workout clothes right now. So, I mean, I, went to, I was at the gym at 9 in the morning uh, this morning and was there until around 12. Um, to be able to handle the overwhelming feeling that you get in any situation, whether it's business or entrepreneurship or whatever it is. And don't kid yourself about entrepreneurship. I get, I, you know, one of the things um, that is interesting to me is uh, it is, it is cool. I guess like the entrepreneurs is like, are, are kind of cool right now. I, I, I do hear that. And you know, you hear Gary, you say that all the time and everything else like that, but people don't, don't understand. Um, the uh stress that you are under because it's it all falls on you right i mean as a boss it all falls on you so when i'm stressed out and i'm overwhelmed and it does happen um quite often actually to be quite honest with you like i'm stressed out a lot um i go into the gym and i run so you have to go out and look for what works for you whether it's walking through the woods on a hike whether it's getting on a bike and riding it you're gonna have to find something from a physical standpoint that you do to get rid of the chemicals inside of your mind and inside of your brain that are consistently telling you to lay down, go to sleep, be depressed, this, that, everything else. Um, it is all chemically driven. There's no question about it. I, I full, fully believe this. The minute that I get on a treadmill and I start running, um, within maybe the first mile, things that I was thinking about or stress that I was thinking about start to leave my mind and I'm yeah. kind of back where I was, right? When you sweat, like a good sweat, not like you're walking down the street, it's 97 degrees outside, you're in khakis and a t-shirt or a long sleeve shirt, you're like pissed off. I'm talking about like you're putting in work and you're sweating. Uh, it is such a, a, a stress relieving um, feeling that you get. And so the one thing that I could tell anybody is like, huge. I, with everything that we know from a health perspective nowadays, we know that going to the gym or going and doing something that's phys physically exerting yourself to clear your mind is the, one of the, is the best thing that you can yeah. do to uh, lead yourself to a better mental health path. Yeah. Um, and so that's just, that, that's, that's what works for me. I can't give this, I don't have that secret magic pill for everybody, but I can tell you that the gym works for me, mm -hmm. but Physical exertion is what is going to end up changing it for you. And again, all the way going back to consistency, it's got to be something that's consistent. You just have to continue to do it. And um, it, it does concern me. It does concern me. There's a lot. It's very easy for us to get trapped into sitting behind a computer all day yes. um, and being plugged in and then thinking that we're unplugging by leaving the office, but really all we're doing is picking up our device and consistently mm -hmm. being on that device to be alive and, and, and give people what they need. And um, I, you, you have to give yourself time to do that. It's something that I do struggle with. I'm not gonna lie to you. I 100% I struggle with unplugging. It's very difficult for me. Um, and I would say personally, I also started going to the gym in the morning because I yeah. never thought I'm that kind of person to wake up at 5.30 and go to gym from six to seven. But lately, I've been going at least three times, and it's helping me in my mind uh, to be kind of relaxed and be more motivated. The other thing I also been doing personally, like I'm keeping this away from my uh, from the bed. I'm peeing in the living room, and then in the morning when I woke up, I not I don't take this to the bathroom with me. <laughs> that <laughs> most of us they do kindly. I'm taking like that ten minutes just for me. My mind is still fresh, not thinking what I want to do and the other part that I've been doing is that journaling it, just writing down my thoughts, the day, how I want to envision the day. And those are the things that's lately been helping me. And again, thank you for sharing those information. And I feel like, yeah, exercise or going to a gym or biking can be very helpful in our minds to be very productive. Thank you for sharing that, Todd.
And again, for the audience watching or listening, if you have any other tips in terms of how to stay healthy, how to stay motivated during dark times, please leave it in the comment section. And like and share the video, subscribe to the channel, and tune in tomorrow for my final question with Todd.